The need to connect Rwandans to the social media giant Wikipedia has led to a movement of young people dubbed Wikimedia Community Rwanda to empower individuals to contribute to the website in their native language, Kenya Rwanda. Our technology reporter, Paul Ndiho, has more. Paul? That's a writer, Esther. Wikimedia Rwanda is an independent team of self-motivated individuals that aims to improve articles on Wikimedia, foundation projects, websites, and promote free open knowledge in Kenya Rwanda. To learn more, I spoke with Ndahiro Derek, aka Alta, Wikimedia team lead in Kigali, Rwanda, about this initiative. 54. Thank you so much. You are one of those uh, young people in Rwanda trying to lead uh, an army of young people in terms of uh, uh, technology. What is it that uh, you do in trying to empower young people across uh, Rwanda? I lead Wikimedia Rwanda, which is uh, a team that is made up of young people. Yes, we've started also recruiting uh, people who are not in the youth category. But um, our work rotates around promoting open knowledge in Rwanda. And uh, we target um, Wikimedia project websites, uh, Wikipedia uh, to be specific, and then Wikicommons and some other websites that are um, used uh, in disseminating knowledge. How are the people responding, especially when they uh, take, for example, they go on Wikipedia and they put in whatever information and pops up in uh, Kenya Rwanda? Some people have not really understood that they're not even aware that there is Kenya Rwanda Wikipedia. So some of them that uh, get a chance to land on Kinyarwanda Wikipedia, they get so surprised. And then they again come up with the question, who are these people behind Kinyarwanda Wikipedia? Because um, most people know English Wikipedia. And even me, before joining um, the Wikimedia movement, I kept thinking maybe the editors, a group of people who are living somewhere in the US or Europe, putting content up. But then in the long run, I got to learn that, yes, if I'm really interested and I'm ready to adhere to the Wikipedia editing rules, I can be one of the editors. So I would say uh, it's really um, uh, inspiring and um, promising because people have started learning all. Oh, so we have Kenya Rwanda Wikipedia. Let's talk about uh, the tech space in Rwanda. Uh, your president uh, has been on the forefront of trying to uh, empower young people. His government has built an ecosystem that enables young people like you to do your thing. Uh, tell us more. Well, I think that's very true. Uh, the government um, has been trying um, to, to put technology advancement at the core of um, all the, 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 the initiatives that are coming up and uh, putting the youth at the forefront. And uh, we've benefited from that, uh, where we are seeing, one, the internet price has really gone down that um, it is, I wouldn't say it is free, but again, it is, um, we can easily access on, um, on a very um, moderate price that makes it easy for young people. And then we are seeing um, some initiatives coming. Uh, we are trying to do away with uh, using cash in our transport system. That was brought up by, uh, the idea was brought up by a young person. And we are seeing young people coming up with um, applications that are helping people to pay uh, using, um, like, um, I wouldn't want to say virtual money, but without using, uh, the, like, the real cash. So, um, so far, that's what's happening. And I'm really glad to see young people benefiting or um, utilizing this chance that we are getting. How big is the tech community in Rwanda? The majority of young people. The majority of young people um, are really either directly engaged or uh, indirectly engaged when it comes to technology. What's trending when it comes to some of these uh, uh, technologies that are shaping the way things are done in the country? I would say software development is really trending because we are seeing so many applications and softwares coming up uh, that are and I think the ideas are gotten from the existing um, popular ones. So where young people are now saying, yes, we have uh, different um, applications and software is helping the world to be better than it was so many years ago. Then how do we do it? We're having applications like over here in Rwanda that people are using to order food, uh, some others that are used to, to, to do transactions. So uh, I would say software development is really at the, uh, at the core. 
Where do you see the future of young people like you who are into this space? The future is really bright because people are going beyond saying I have a smartphone, but what do I use um, this smartphone to do to create impact on a personal basis, but also on a community basis? Uh, so I think the future is bright. And then um, what keeps us moving? I think, first of all, the history of our country, the, 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 the situation in countries around us, and then the entire global, uh, uh, I would say, development. You're seeing countries developing because they have put technology at the at the at, at the center of what they are doing. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Uh, this means a lot.